Township beating Lunenburg three to two. Community Access Television. It's senior night in South Deerfield. The Frontier Red Hawks play host to the Turner's Fall Thunder. We'll get the starting lineups and get underway after this. Olivia Dean, nine, captain, outside hitter, Bowden College Volleyball. Abigail Roberts, captain, number 21, opposite DS, Fordham University for Environmental Science. Riley Isler, captain, number 10, libero defensive specialist, uh, Middlebury College, track and field. Olivia Rose Warren, captain, 23, setter, college in DC, economics. Charlotte Dulet, number 17, middle hitter, Denison University, collegiate softball. Morgan Martineau, number 25, outside hitter, University of New England, collegiate volleyball. Sonisha New, number one, middle up, outside, college undecided, and majors pre law Sophia Stella, 20, outside DS, college undecided. Maya LeClaire, team manager, LaSalle University, fashion business. And we're getting ready to, <clears throat> to take the floor here momentarily, and we'll throw it down to the coach. Um, match tonight against Turner's Falls. Want to welcome them. Okay. And I just want to, um, we'll introduce everybody. For Turner's Falls, we've got number one, Taylor Green. Number two, Cordelia Aaron. Number three, Emily Young. Number eight, Abby Holloway. Number 11, Maddie Leibniz-Hagan. Number 13, Olivia Stafford. Number 15, Jill Reynolds. Number 17, Katie Wozniak. Number 18, Seth Peterson. And Turner's Falls. Captain Olivia Rosemore and number 27, uh, Morgan Martineau. Uh, Frontiers coach by myself, Sean McDonald, Courtney Parent, and Angelica Perfido. And we have Emeritus coach Kevin Pender in the building today. Alright, with that, uh, can we please rise for the playing of the national anthem?
are about ready to get started here. Joining me at the microphone tonight is, as, as introduced by Coach McDonald, former assistant coach Kevin Pender, who has a, has a history with some of these seniors, Kevin. I do, yeah. I had the pleasure of coaching them when they were in the middle school age, but uh, I've gotten to see them grow up through the club season a little bit. They play against me as I'm a head coach at Aguam now, and Originally, we had planned to do senior night at Frontier for my Aguam girls against them, so I could be here to celebrate these gals. So I'm really happy to be present tonight to celebrate them. And we're happy to have you on our FCAT broadcast. You've had some pretty excellent performances by uh, members of this team who have come on as color people this uh, this spring in a spring, well, fall two season unlike any other. And uh, they can only dress 15 kids, so at least one of them is usually tapped to do color, and they've been fantastic and they really have added a lot to uh, the coverage of the game and the explanation of the same. I'm not really a volleyball guy, so. That's it, right. They've been fantastic to watch. I've seen some good reports on the social media. I've even watched some of their scrimmages that have been live streamed, and it's been a pleasure to continue to see them grow and compete, even during this really funky year. Emily Young to serve it for the Thunder, and we are underway on senior night. Quick set, uh, tip by... That was Abby Roberts. Abby Roberts, first kill of the game. Into the famed donut hole. Abby is a fantastic natural broadcaster. She could definitely have a career if she wanted to. A deep serve by Martineau. She was a strong server from day one in the gym, even as a young player, and it just keeps getting better. Big spike by Dean. Martineau with the set, and a little tip over the top. By New, that's going to be a point. I think it was a smart play by Lanesha. We have not, I don't think, broadcast a lost set yet by this Frontier team this year. They have, they have won every set we've been here for. Morgan showed some of that strength in her jump float serve and just out of bounds by a ball, ball and a half. Is, as a coach, is there a particular type of serve that you're more prone to wanting to see? Uh, first and foremost, in. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Secondary would probably be just what Morgan did. The jump float serve is right now the most effective serve in the women's game. That's a great save by Isla to keep it that really ball alive. Was. Just putting her body on the line to lay out and keep that play alive and help Frontier win that point. 3 1 Hawks, and they get the serve back. And the aforementioned Riley Isler, one of the captains of this team, will serve it. She's developed as one of the smartest players I've ever had the pleasure to coach. Her volleyball IQ is just off the charts, making the right plays with incredible ball control. And there's an ace with this celebratory kick, which is a new thing this year. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's funny. Another good deep serve. It's going to be another ace. I'm going to say, that's the stuff I like to see, and as a coach on the receiving end, it's stuff I hate to face. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, the senior night festivities will take place at the end of this game, so stay tuned for that. This is another good serve. She's serving a nice ball into that zone one, zone six seam right between two players, and that's the ideal serve for many talented server at the end line. That one just handcuffed everybody. Yeah, really puts them in a tough position to communicate while that ball's in flight. Another good serve. Repeats right back to the same Ouch. spot, and great result. So this is five unanswered aces here. 7-1 is the score. Picks a new spot here. Turner's Falls getting into system and able to attack. Rosewarn makes the dig. Riley sets the out-of-system ball to a big swing from Liv Dean. Good volley going here. Good free ball return by Isler. Spike. Right. Good dig by Isler. Keep it alive. Strong hands going for it. Abby keeps the safe play over the net. Big attack out of the middle, but Riley can answer with a strong dig. Good volley going here. Charlotte got her first set of the game in the middle. 
Orsmore sets up for a quick 32 attack to Charlotte, and she's able to tip it for the kill. A little finger roll there. That's all you got to do is just tip it over in that situation. It was a smart touch. I like the quick tempo. Coach said they might be trying to run some of that quicker attacks tonight, and the set was just a little low for Charlotte, but she made good play on it. Isler to serve again. Another ace. Well, what ace? Those are real sweet when it can go straight to the floor. There's no better feeling as a server. Well, they definitely came to play tonight to the Red Hawks. They have one more game in the schedule. It's Friday night against Pioneer to wrap up fall two. Another good low serve. Point. I think what I like most and fear most about Riley's serves, she's got that good float action, kind of like a knuckleball in baseball. Rita Tannen wants to call timeout. We'll take the break. All Red Hawks in this first set. Frontier 10, Turner's 1. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. I mentioned Pioneers in town Friday night. We'll have that game as well. Quick set. Dean tips it over. Point. Hey, the ball placement's been phenomenal in this first set. Yeah, they're really finding open gaps inside that Turner's defense. After a good hit from Cordelia, Frontier was able to transition back into offense. The donut hole, the donut cavern, it seems like. That one's long. Good break for Turner's to get the service back. Otherwise, this was... Running away with this one. It'll be Steph Patterson. Peterson, rather, to, to serve for Turner's. Nice serve. And Riley cleaning the floor on that one to save that ball. So Isler with the dig. Gets the serve back. And it's going to be Addie Roberts to serve. Checking into the game. For Frontier is Sophia Stilla. And checking out is Rose Warren. I think this is where they're probably switching setters for Frontier. I would see Abby Roberts setting out of the back row. Big swing from Dean. Out. I just missed the deep corner there from Dean. Point goes to Turner's. 12-3 Frontier. Turner's with the serve. Maddie Lee Matane in the serve for the Thunder. Net. Ooh. Good hard float, only missed by half an inch. Can't wait to see her serve again. Olivia Dean is going to serve it now for Frontier. Good low serve again. Boom! Big now. Big swing for Martino. Yikes. There's a lot of power behind that. 14-3. Dean to serve again. You know, the Hawks have not lost a set this year on television. And that one's going to be just out. There's a nice breeze coming in the back door. I'm wondering <laughs> if that's helping get a little more flight to those long serves. Olivia Stafford to serve. Abby Roberts tracks down the, the pass. Martin with like a double push over the top. Smart move there with the setter Abby on the run. Lamesha's back into the front row. Riley Easter is liberoed out. And Doulette to serve for the Hawks. Ace. I like the heel click celebration there. <laughs> Bring a little pizzazz to the, the court. Another jump server for Frontier, that effective jump float. Wow. Just over the top of the net. Quick tip. Double hit. What do we have? It looks like it was a center line violation on the Turner's attacker. Were they over the, look like they were over the line, probably? Yeah, I think yeah. they probably put a foot over, and uh, if it's in the vicinity of the blocker, usually that's called for safety regulations. Duet serves. Oh, good cross-court serve to the deep corner. Return by Turners. Lanesh is... Uh, looks like a similar call here. I think yeah. Lanesha just stepped over, over that Red Hawk emblem in the center of the floor. Isler back in and Doulette back out for the Hawks. 17-5, they lead. Dean with the lead, lead, deep dig. That was a free ball, and I don't think anybody expected it. Still, I think I handcuffed on that one. 
So point for the Thunder. Abby Holloway serving for Turners. Dean. Nice back set from Abby Roberts. Sophia Stiller with the attack. Set. New with a nice tip over. Working that donut hole like a charm. I'll tell you, they, they know exactly when to, to spike it hard and when to go for that easy tip. And that one was as perfectly placed. I see Rosie back in. Olivia also made her broadcast debut the other night. Fantastic job. 18-6. Rosie with a nice jump float action going on. <laughs> She's a lefty, too. Another good one. Free ball. Perfect pass from Riley. Morgan with a heads up tip. Looks like there was a net violation yep. during the attack. Because she clipped the top of the net with that tip over. So 19-7, the Thunder will serve. It'll be Emily Young putting it in play for turns. That's going to be an ace. An ace, yeah. Liv, Liv Dean had a little bit of trouble with that serve. It was a good, good high rising float. Caught her a little high and let's see if we can get a repeat attack from Turner's. Set. Nice back set over to Abby Roberts with a strong swing down the line. Turner's makes a couple fantastic digs. Rosewarn finds Lanesha in the middle. Ball to Dean. Quick set out to Martin New, and she answers with a big swing. Oh, that had to hurt. That cut Taylor Green right off the hand. You don't want to have to get in front of those if you can avoid it. What I like most is Morgan was making a nice transition to be available during those digs and quick plays. She was definitely in attack mode at her battle station. Martin New again to serve. Net. Oh, the poor net. Look, I didn't put a hole in it. <laughs> 20 to 9, and Taylor Green to serve for the Thunder. Goes right with the dig. Set. Dean with the spike. Nice dig. Good dig from Turner's on a powerful swing from Dean. Right to set to Abby Roberts, who swings it in for the kill. Not the tallest girl on the, on the uh, court, but she can definitely get up on that net and spike it. She really can. It's probably the years of dance. She used to have to leave practice to go to dance classes, and it, I think it just gives her a great balance, ability to move and find rhythm. 21-9. Isler to Sir. That's an ace. Mm. 22-9. On a side note, I'm loving the Frontier fans in the stands, uh, the players <laughs> behind the bench with uh, their, their cheerleading pom-poms. Really, That's the first time we've seen those. Of course, it is senior night. A deep serve by Isler again. And a point. I like the idea of Turner's to go to number 11, Natty, in the middle. One of their stronger attackers. Good low serve. Whoa! Olivia Dean with the return spike. Yeah, that's, you know, hitters' eyes light up when they get a nice overpass like that, and they... They go into payback mode. Game point. Is there to serve? Nice pass by Maddie. Turners on offense. Good roll to the corner, but Isler picks it up. Nice tip over by Dean. A short free ball. Sometimes those are tough to handle, but Rosie found it. Over to Charlotte for a quick attack in the 32 zone. And that's how the game will end. We played one game here in South Deerfield. At the end of one game, it's Frontier 25. And the Curtis Falls Thunder 9. Set one goes to Frontier. We'll take a break, come back, and bring you second game action. This is Red Hawk Volleyball and Frontier Community Access Television. Back out here at Goodno Gymnasium, of course, 
Fall 2 sports rapidly wrapping up. I mentioned that uh, the volleyball team has one more game Friday night fr uh, here at, against Pioneer Regional. And then I believe our first softball game is scheduled for May 5th. So, yeah, one more week of uh, sports next week, and then we uh, get into the the spring season. And, and from what I'm told, the spring season is going to go all the way into July this year. So it's going to be very warm and very busy. Happy and then we have a birthday song going on. Here. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> So it's a big night overall. It's Ben's birthday. It's senior night. All kinds of stuff going on here. So the Thunder have some work uh, to do here if they want to stay in this one. They've got, uh, okay, of course, first team to win three sets wins the match. And uh, they got skunked pretty good in that set, 25-9. Great performance by Frontier. They were all over the place with the serves, and they made some great shots at the net. And Turner has held their own for a while, but it's just too much, too many, too much Red Hawk power. And the Hawks are now on the floor and ready to start the second game. Caroline Dean making her first appearance. She's a freshman. And the serve will go to Frontier to start this second game. And best of five sets wins the match. When I was here, uh, Ella Dean was just right. graduating, and Liv Dean was just this little player coming up. And sure enough, now Caroline's that, that younger player and lives on her way out. Time flies when we're having fun. Olivia Rose Warren to serve for Frontier. Low serve. Free ball. Set back over. Set. Yeah, so spike. <laughs> that quick attack from Carol, or uh, sorry, Charlotte, right off that free ball. That's uh, something we like to see offensive teams do is take advantage of that, you know, free ball coming over and turn it into something powerful. And Charlotte did just that. One nothing frontier. Olivia to serve again. Good knuckling serve into the donut hole. Good spike. Nice, nice point by Turner's. Yeah, that was a big swing by Maddie Lamontanaden. And that was almost, that was the most authoritative point for Turner's in this game so far. No doubt about that one. Taylor Green to serve it up for the Turner's Falls Thunder. Tied at one. Big. Yeah, Lucia Dulet handled that serve. And the Good team block the at the net. And Rosewarn called for the double hit on the back set to Caroline Dean. So Turner has the lead, two to one. And Taylor Green, once again to serve for Turner. Sophia Stilla handled that serve. Good spike by Olivia Dean. Gets the serve back and ties the game at two. And Liv will serve it. Good serve, ace. Good jump flow right down the sideline. Doesn't give that passer a lot of time to react to the pass. And it's one of the things I know when I was here, Sean and I tried to train a lot. It's really being effective with the location of those serves, even if they weren't going 100 miles an hour. Good placement. Good return by Turner. Set. Yeah. Beaten by the net on that one. Not enough elevation. And we're tied at three, and Turner's gets the serve back. Steph Peterson to put it in play. Tight pass, but good reaction from Caroline Dean. <laughs> Caroline Dean, the freshman, as I said, latest in the Dean trilogy to come up. I think she was even surprised by that one a little bit. Real heads up play from a young player to be ready to react. Duet to serve. 
Good spinning serve. Set. Spike. Ooh, big Point. swing from Caroline. Oh, wait, that was, yeah, it was Caroline. Getting a look at the future <laughs> here as uh, she'll be around for a few more years. Charlotte to serve again, 5-3, Frontier. Good low serve, not returning that one. Wow, I think that ball was landing inside the attack line before Maddie was able to lay out and touch it. Was that Ben Roberts? <laughs> I thought it was. Where did he come from? Levine with the dig. Good high set out to Sophia Stilla on the outside, but didn't quite connect. Yeah, she was about it. Maybe a step away from where she needed to be to, to try and spike that ball, look like. Yeah, it comes down to inches and milliseconds. 6 4 Frontier. Maddie Lee Matane in the serve for the Funda. That one was going out, but they, they played it. Great set from Roseborn. That one's definitely Get around going the ball. Out. That's one of those situations where, you, you know, you see that a lot where. The deep serve, it may be going out and they play it anyway. Whoa! Good dig. Free ball. Returned by Dean. Yeah, just missed back. on the sideline. So we're tied 6 6. The Turners definitely hanging in there in this set. Ooh, he made it over. Serve off the net, made the setter receive the first ball. That's a nightmare ball. Sophia Stiller, a good swing down the line, but it looks like the referees had it just out of bounds. Turners leading 7-6. And checking into the game is Riley Isler. Yeah, coming in as a sub, wearing the white shirt instead of the libero. Stiller with a nice pass and a tough serve. Good job there. Right. Nice. Lucia got a good high contact on that ball with yep. a well-placed tip. Another freshman, Lucia Dulette. So, well, the youngsters getting some playing time here. And Carolyn Dean to serve. Whoa. Good, hard, strong float just carrying out of bounds. I like what you said earlier about the deep floats. So, it's 8-7. Olivia Stafford to serve for... The Thunder, that's an ace. That ball dropped out of nowhere. It plummeted in like a comet. It did. That was, that was quite a serve. So Frontier, rare trailing situation. They're down by two. And that goes back to Frontier. And this is going to be Sophia Stilla. One of, again, the seven, like that eight seniors on this team. That's an ace. We remind you the senior night ceremonies will take place in their entirety at the end of this game. We'll be here for it. Another good serve by Stella. Yeah, that came off like a meatball and hit the top of the net and fell in for a great ace. Frontier gets the lead back, 10 9. Tip over dig. Oh, return nicely. Oh. <laughs> returned off the head of Olivia Dean. Yeah, the Turner setter decided to dump the ball instead of set up a hitter and <laughs> caught Dean by surprise there. It's a heads up play by Dean, but. 10 <laughs> 10. Free ball. With Spike is out there. Strong swing from Emily Young on Turner's, and I think it, yeah, just a hard angle. And it's going to be Lucia Dulette to serve. Charlotte Dulette back in, so both Dulettes are in. Isler is out for Frontier. Thanks. Another good jump float. I love to see it. I love to see every player going with that more aggressive serve. Hold 
There it is again. Free return. Let's see if Frontier can manage a quick one. Good turn by Rosie and feed to find <laughs> Cliff Dean on the outside pin. Pounded at home. Frontier extends the lead 13 10. And Lucia Dulette to serve again. Another tough serve. That's an ace. Well, Lucia doing some damage from the service line. That's a net. Wasn't long ago that some of these seniors that were once middle school players asking, Coach, can we learn to do the jump float? And the answer I <laughs> shot on the head was, yes, let's try it. It didn't look great on day one, but boy, has it paid off. Well, and the earlier they learn that stuff, that's the more experience they get with it, the better they get. That's true. It becomes weaponized. Free ball. Set back over. Out. 15-11, and it's going to be Liv Rosewarn to serve for Frontier. Good serve, deep. Lucia with a perfect pass out of the back row into the quick attack, big swing by Dean. I'd say Dean's having a big day at the net. Green and uh, Duet have been the damaging duo on uh, the net. Unfortunately, the down official said that Liv Dean crossed the center line uh, after the attack. I might disagree and say the ball was down, but I don't have the gray shirt and I don't have the whistle. So I'm going to go with the official on that one. He's got the best look. Green to serve for Turners. See, ooh, that one is going to be just in. So... Liv made up for that one with a, with a good spike. Rose Warren to serve again. Actually, no. But they should be rotating, yeah. Right. Olivia Dean will serve. So now we've got Sophia still in the front row with Charlotte and Caroline. Good low serve into the donut hole. Out. Good middle attack from Turners. Again, not missing by much on the end line. 17-12. Ace. That ball's going out the door. Oh, oh it was oh. close. We did have a ball go out the door the other night. And Olivia had to go get it. Timeout. Turners will take the break. Set number two. Frontier in control. Red Hawks 18. Turners 12. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT Sports provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you require legal help, call Dan Graves today at 773-8706. Dan is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheswick Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals right next to the common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance, Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance, 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail in Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all legal services. Learn more at lphillipslaw.com. Good volley going on here as Frontier. Bilet ends that quickly with, a, with authority. We love that nice gap quick set. Puts the attacker right in between two blockers and just a feast for that hitter when the tempo and timing is right. 19 to 12, Dean to serve. Good low serve. That's going to be essentially an ace. Yep. 20 to 12. Who's that? Dilavera in coming in, number five. 
think it might be a pull from the JV team, run of the Duelette <laughs> sister. A low serve, spike at the net. Double hit, so it's going to be Frontier Ball. That name is not listed on my program, I don't believe. We'll find out who that is. Dean with the big set, spike. Kept alive by Turner's Falls. Good free ball to the corner to challenge Dean. And she, and she won it. That was uh, Maddie Lee Matanen made that play. S smart play by Maddie. It's a very tough spot to defend on the court, even though Liv Dean laid out. There was just no defending against it. Steph Peterson to serve for Turner's. Only went long. Good eyes by number five and great communication from the bench to help her get a good read on that serve. The JV player in question with a good hand checking out. Do like to serve. Being with the dig. Set. Tip spike. And point. That was Caroline Dean with that play. Seeing that approach, I tell you, if I didn't have the program in front of me, I would not know she was a freshman. That was a <laughs> veteran approach she took to play that ball. Do let to serve. That's going to be an ace. Game point upcoming. It looked good there for a while for Turners, but uh, Frontier is on the verge of another second set victory. Here we go. The little Doulette sister at the service line. A full family affair here in set the two. newest Doulette. Is this Lucia? Ah, uh, no, Lucia's number eight. Okay. Oh, that's going to be an ace. Oh, no. They returned it. Yep. I don't know how they did. Sophia Stiller with a big swing uh, for the win. Stiller spikes it home, and Frontier takes game number two. Set number one went to Frontier, 25-9. Set two goes to Frontier, 25-13. Third set up coming. You're watching a Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. Olivia Dean, nine, captain, outside hitter, Bowdoin College Volleyball. Abigail Roberts, captain, number 21, opposite DS, Fordham University for Environmental Science. Riley Isler, captain, number 10, libero defensive specialist, uh, Middlebury College track and field. Olivia Rose Warren, captain, 23, setter, college in D.C. economics. Charlotte Duet, number 17, middle hitter, Denison University collegiate softball. Morgan Martineau, number 25, outside hitter, University of New England collegiate volleyball. Clinician New, number 1, middle up, outside, college undecided, and majors pre law Sophia Stella, 20, outside DS, college undecided. Maya Leclerc, team manager, LaSalle University, fashion business. Back out here at Good News Gymnasium. And uh, so, Kevin, we have an identity on that mystery player that we saw come in earlier. Yes, it was Sophia Stilla's youngest sister, Parrish. I didn't recognize her because when I was here six years ago, I, don't, I think she could have walked under the net without <laughs> ducking. <laughs> and here she is now serving on game point, digging the ball on game point, and then her sister ending the game with a big kill. Well, that was a great serve she made. Man, and, uh, mom is grinning ear to ear with her phone out, video recording to show the whole family. So proud of it. One of the things I love about this program is that there's, there's so many different families that have multiple players you know what I mean it's it seems like every year there's a, a new Dean uh, and now there's a new Doulette and then now we have a new Stella uh, it's a real and it's a it's a really a, a volleyball family and a, a it, tight-knit group it's a beautiful sport when you start playing it early and young it's it's uh, for me it's addictive you know I was a soccer player and hockey player till high school when I jumped on board and uh, 15 years later I haven't turned back since <laughs> There's maybe two months out of the year I'm not touching a volleyball or showing someone else how to touch a volleyball. Very good. All right, so if Turners will serve to start this third set. 
And again, barring a a major catastrophe, I would think that Frontier will probably sweep this one. They haven't lost a set. I'm knocking on wood because I don't want to be that guy that shows up for one game. And uh, the turners look good there for the early part of that second game, but Frontier came back and took it away. Yeah, Frontier serve seems to be the difference maker. Serving and defense. Taylor Green with the serve for Turner. Sophia Stiller with a perfect pass to start the game. And Abby Roberts with a big swing deep. Oh, looks like it was a little too deep. A little too, too strong from number 21. Yeah, I think the, the Frontier players were counting their chickens before they were hatched a little bit there. Yeah. Well, they, uh, they, even Turner's. Even, no, that's yeah. Turner's ball. Well, you know, every other year when it's not this crazy COVID year, we've been having those line judges that have been a huge help for both sides right. to just really maintain the efficiency. And even the officials love having it. Set. Dean with the spike out. No, they're going to say it was in. Looks like they're, they're saying that one was in. We had a pretty good view on it, Chris, to maybe see it just out. It but looked like it was out, but we will take the call of the officials as we have not much choice. I love that quick tempo set from Roseborn to find Dean with that quick attack. Doesn't yeah, give the blockers much she, time to get up. She's been setting the ball really nice tonight. That's a good low serve. That's going to be an ace. Dean to serve. Point, Frontier. Lanesh was up for the block to stop that middle attack. Had it gone over, he was in a good spot. And looks like Dean was coming into this game, leading the team in aces in this short, shortened season. Yep. Dig, returned, Dean to Rose Warren, Spike Martineau at the Martin net. With a big swing right off the Turner's blockers for a point, and uh, in the volleyball world, we call that a tool when the attacker hits the ball purposely or, <laughs> luckily, off the blocker's hands with some authority. Oh, man, that was a collegiate level serve coming in there. And point Ooh, goes. A souvenir for the crowd in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> 5-1 Frontier. Dean doing her usual damage from the service line. Good play at the net by Turner's. Again, yeah. that was Lee Matanen again. Abby Roberts up there with the block. 5-2, but showing off like she's 6-2 up there getting a touch on that block. Emily Young to serve for Turners. Dean with the dig. Isler. Martineau, the return. Block at the oh, net. Martineau with a real big smart block on the setter that was trying to dump it over on two. Tricky move that catches most defenses off guard, but not Frontier. Those smart blockers were right and ready. New to serve it for the Hawks. Up 6-2. Set by Martineau. Rose Warren. Back to Martineau and he couldn't get the elevation on it. And point goes to, for, to Turner's fault. Steph Peterson to serve for Turner's. Good, good deep float in the corner. Martin had some trouble with that one over her left shoulder. 6-4. Good call from Dean in the back row. Take that pass. Do a quick attack over to Charlotte. Looked like she came out of nowhere and serve received. Just kind of appeared at the net. Yeah, that was just, that was almost too easy. And Abby Roberts to put it in play for Frontier, up 7-4. Oh, great float serve down the line. Turner's handles it into attack mode. Roberts with the dig. Rosie with a tremendous set behind the attack line. Oh. Martineau went up to try and spike it and ended up spiking it into the net on her side. That's a good aggressive move. We like to see hitters ready to take that, that risky shot when the opportunity presents itself. Lima Tainan to serve. 
block and low serve. Is it at the dig? Rosie. Rosie with nice. the back set to the middle. Good block at the net. Yeah, Charlotte put that one hand stab out to recover from the block. Morgan with a big swing that Turner's handles into the free ball. Morgan, oh. Morgan keeps swinging hard and Fred Turner's is finding a way to dig it. Rosie switches it up. Finds Charlotte in the middle for the kill. Charlotte's able to bend it around the middle blocker. And they get the serve back, 8-5, and Morgan Martineau will serve for Frontier. It's great seeing Morgan swing that hard from the pin. When I was here, she was training as a middle. It's great to see players grow and switch positions to you know, best fit their team. Good low serve into the donut hole. The dig, tip over the top. Isler, Dean with the return, out. Like Sophia still is back in. Play back row for Morgan Martineau. 8 6. Turners to serve. Frontier with the lead. Dean to Rose Warren. Nice tip over by Duet. Isler to Rose Warren. To Dean. Boom. Ooh, that tempo swing, that little hut ball out to the outside. Really connecting with Olivia Dean well out there. Riley Isler to serve. She had a really good service uh, in the last game. Several aces in a row. Free ball coming. Let's see if Frontier can get into the system. Rose Warren. Is that new? Tips it in the finds, corner. Yes, finds new in the middle, and she rolls it beautifully right into the corner. Little teardrop and just caught the inside of the line. 10-6, Frontier. Reminds me of if Dr. J had played volleyball, I think that would have been his, <laughs> his right. hooked, little shot to the corner. Very good. Good serve by Isler. It's going to be an ace. Abby Roberts with the pass. Rosie with a quick set up to Liv Dean. Buries it down the middle with authority. 12-6. And the beat goes on for Riley Isler. That's tough to give Frontier free balls. They typically make you pay when you don't make them work for that dig. Point, Frontier. A lot of teams think serving is an offensive tactic, but really it's a good, good way to put your team in a good defensive position. Riley's doing just that, getting turners out of system, getting free balls coming Frontier's way, and then they go into offense. Rosewood with the turn and a swing on two. Lanesha handles the free ball. And double hit. <laughs> like a double hit there, right? Yeah, that looked like it was a... A messy contact coming out of Rosie's off balance set. 13 7. Holloway to serve for Turners. Dean with the dig. Set. Alicia New with a tip over. And the return is out by Turners. And Olivia Rose Warren. There we go. I think. Coach Sean McDonald calls her Nano for Nano Liv because there's been a few Olivias in the program and we had to differentiate between them. But Nano Liv has become quite a leader on this team as a captain, as a setter. Nice to turn. Point turners. Taylor Green. Cordelia Guerin checking in for Turner Falls. Is that deep serve? Frontier handles it. Smart roll ball by Olivia Dean. Olivia the setter making the dig. Free ball. Good deep free ball from Stilla. 
Free ball to Frontier. Here's the quick tempo stuff. Lanesha in the middle with a good tip. <laughs> Lanesha new again with a nice little tip move. Smart play on senior night. She's really finding her own here in the middle. Liv Dean to serve. Frontier up 15-8. Morgan Martino checks in. And still a check out for Frontier. Ball out. Yeah. That's an ace. Gets out of bounds. Good ace for Dean. Again, be sure and join us at the, at the conclusion of this game for the senior night festivities here at Goodno Gymnasium. Nice pass from Turner's. Handle that serve well. Big feed to Mia. And that swing out. went just out of bounds down the line. A really good spot from her for her to aim at. Missed by just inches. Good low serve. Raleigh with a perfect dig. There's a back set to Abby Roberts. Oh. Not quite enough elevation there. I'd like to see the communication after the set. The, both hitter and setter have kind of made the same indication of let's get that higher next time. And it's good to see they're on the same page with this next rally. Those two have been friends for, it seems like, a lifetime. Me with the return. And one it's going to be a point. Olivia Dean laid out like a uh, shortstop for that one-handed dig touch there. 17-10. Frontier with the lead. Turner's with the serve. Emily Young. Free ball. Somebody get it. New returns it nicely. Save the play right there. Ooh. Ooh, that was going long, and Liv got a hand on it. Yeah, Maddie had a powerful swing and uh, in the direction of Liv. Well, she's played a strong game. Yeah. Turner keeps to serve, 17-11. Frontier with the lead. Out. Yeah, it looks like Morgan tried to turn it down the line, and tough to see from this angle if it missed by much, but I, I like the intent really diversified her shot range. Just over the top of the net. Set. Martineau tips it over. Olivia Rosewarn with the dig. Riley sets the out of system ball. Morgan makes a smart play into the blockers. And it will be a center line violation on Turner's to give Frontier the point. 18-12, Frontier gets the point and they get the serve back. Manisha New to serve for the Hawks. Takes a second to tie those shoes, getting herself prepped and ready for this moment. Good serve. Free ball. Ball. Yep. There's that quick attack to the middle. Find Charlotte. Point frontier. <laughs> I'm not sure what the debate was about. That was pretty obviously off of the Turner's player. I think so. Without those line judges, I think uh, the officials want to call the whistle to stop the rally, but make sure they get the uh, rationale right. New to serve. It might have been a foot fault from, from Lanesha there. Nice return. Turner, yeah, shot it down the line. Maddie found that line shot she was looking for a few rallies ago. So Turner's gets the, the serve back. They trail 19-13. And it'll be Steph Peterson on the serve for the Thunder. Morgan handles that serve with ease. To a quick attack by Charlotte that just goes a little long. Point goes to Turner's. They'll serve it again. Coach McDonald said that he wanted to run some quicker tempo sets this game. And with passes like that, they're giving their setter the ability to run that quick offense. Aren't no, to Rose Warren. Back set to Abby Roberts, who swings hard down the angle. Oh. Ball came up to the overpass, and Charlotte just swung it out of bounds. It's a tight net play. 
The Turner's clawing their way back into this set three. Good handle for Morgan. She answers with a big swing. <laughs> 20 to 15, and Abby. Abby Roberts, when, uh, when I was here coaching with her, she had laryngitis and lost her voice for a week. So as she was setting for it, she would clap twice on the court to call the ball because she couldn't talk. <laughs> it just shows the commitment of these girls to keep playing hard and be there for their teammates. Out. 2016. Serve goes back to Turner. Lima Tainan. Low serve, Isla with the dig. Martino, Duet returns it. Good set, spike. Oh, oh, no. Off speed ball and Riley lays out a pancake defensive move. It looks like the down official could not see it <laughs> and make a call, so the up official is able to make the call. Martino almost made that call for him. <laughs> Gotta love to see that that heart and commitment from Riley to lay out. Wow, that was a great play. Only thing stopping that rally was, was only stopping that rally was Riley's hand flat out on the Correct. floor. Now Sean McDonald talking it over with his players. I've played this game for about almost 20 years, and I've laid one pancake successfully in my career. Riley's done it at least once tonight. Right, and many other times before. Good deep serve. Return, Isler to Roseland, to Dean. Blocked at the net though, That's nicely right. done. Great block from Turner. It was Abby Holloway that did that. You don't often see Liv Dean get blocked like that. No, that's that's a rarity. Turner's very much still in this set. Olivia Stafford to serve. Nice float serve at Dean. There's Dean again, tips over, into the donut hole, still alive. Dean with the dig, tip at the net. Return by Isla. And Isla the libero with an offensive kill. <laughs> What's in a blue moon does that happen? 22-17. Isla will serve. Isla's on the ball, Lanesha's back into the front row as the middle blocker. Return by Turners. Oh, and a surprise <laughs> dump by Nano Liv. What a beauty. Looked like a set and just dropped her shoulder and pushed it over. Looks like Coach Shawnee Mack is taking a timeout now to let their seniors get subbed out and get a standing ovation from the crowd. We'll keep it here. We want to watch this. It's a great tradition to let those seniors sub out one last time to get a standing ovation see their teammates and again be sure and join us at the end of this game for single night festivities wow for nano live to get that kill as a setter as the seniors take their last walk off the court what a great way i think everyone chipped in tonight offensively defensively what a night now a full timeout, and we'll take the break. 23-17, Frontier two points away from a three-set sweep of Turner's Falls. This is Red Hawk Volleyball on Frontier Community Access Television. All right, here we go. 23-17, and serving it up is Looks like Lucia Doulette. Lucia Doulette. That's a look at the returning Red Hawks here as no seniors on the court. A look at the future, and the point goes to Turner's. Good serve down the seam again, just drifting, you know, inches long here. It's a good miss, as coaches say. If we miss, we like to miss a little long. Let those players have a chance to play it. Abby Holloway to serve. Caroline Set by Dean. Sid Scanlon. Spike. Point. Big swill from Caroline Dean, an outside hitter. It's a freshman. Seems like yesterday Sydney was coming in to set during the state finals. Match point. Sid Scanlon to serve for Frontier. Jump float into play, wins with an ace. And they end it with authority. Sid Scanlon with the ace, and that is 
your final. Frontier takes game one, 25-9. Game two goes to Frontier, 25-17. And game three goes to Frontier, 25-18. to Chris, I want to thank you for letting me be a part of tonight's broadcast as well as the senior festivities. It's been my pleasure. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate you making the time and I appreciate you coming out. And uh, we're going to now stick around because our senior activities are about to occur. Don't forget, Friday night we're back here, Pioneer against Frontier in volleyball. I'll talk to you then. Right now we'll turn it over to Coach McDonald and Kevin Murphy, our executive producer, who will bring you the senior night activities here at Good No Gymnasium. All right, I'm gonna start off while these guys are getting their gifts. I know our team has a few things to say about everybody, but um, just, from, just from my standpoint, uh, what a great group of seniors this has been, and um, it's just been a tough year. I guess everybody doesn't need me to tell them that. Um, you know, after winning the state championship in 2019, having almost 15 months off, um, not having a playoff, to play this year when um, with so many people coming back as you see I think uh, we clearly would have been a favorite um, in that so it's kind of tough to not be able to do that this year um, before I get really rolling I want to thank FCAT uh, who's been doing a great job broadcasting all of our our matches um, their their broadcasts are second to none um, around Franklin County anyway uh, great stuff we really appreciate them working on this and uh want to thank kevin pender where'd he go did he leave i want to thank kevin um if you've ever made somebody an offer and you were shocked that they said yes and i know some of the husbands are nodding yes um, um i asked in i think 2013 i asked kevin there's kevin in 2013 kevin had just been the brains behind a state champion boys team at Agawam and we asked him to come here and be our middle school coach and um, you know we had clearly the most overqualified middle school coach in the state so I really am glad that he could come back up he was the coach for these guys in seventh grade and um, he wanted to be here tonight so we want to thank him for coming up and <clears throat> Uh, it's only if you want tears for me. Wow. It's like, I don't have any kids, so this is the closest I've had to seeing girls grow up in front of me. I proposed to my wife, and you guys surprised me here with that great poster, and we're part of my family from when it started. So you can do it. You can do it. All right. <laughs> Seriously, though, to be welcomed into the Red Hawk family with Sean and this great group of girls, it changed my life, and it changed my coaching career, and... Wow, I'm so happy to see what you've done here and be able to share this tonight. We had planned to do this for Aglam to come play you on your senior night. And when that fell through, my heart was broken. I've been looking forward to this since I walked out those doors that last time after seeing the bus riding with the state title. And to see the smiles on your faces when I walked through the door tonight made my season, made my year. Thank you so much, Frontier. Thank you, girls. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> I thought I'd only better than that. You did great. Thank you so much, Kev. So before I let the girls talk, um, I'm just going to go through the, the seniors real quick. Um, Maya um, was a player here until the last couple years and decided to be the manager, and she's been such a huge help for us, and we just love having her around. Um, she's so close with everybody on the team, so we're so glad that she was able to be continue being a part of our team um, she's been with us for six years and uh, manager for the last two and she's going to be going to LaSalle College or University all right in uh, in Massachusetts and she's gonna be studying fashion media marketing uh, we, uh, congratulations and now we have Lanasia six-year player second year on varsity um, she's played a lot of different positions for us. She's been playing middle lately and DS sometimes and opposite sometimes. Um, she's been with us six years, two, second year on varsity. She's going to UMass for legal studies. Right. 
Okay, I'm skipping around a little bit. I got Charlotte Dulette, four years in our volleyball program, three years on varsity. She's heading to Denison College to study health, exercise, and sports studies and play college softball. We have number 20, Sophia Stila. She was called Stila one game, but Sophia Stila. Six-year player in the Frontier program, third year on the varsity, heading way out west to UC San Diego. <laughs> number 25 slash number 27, Morgan Martineau. Six years in the program, third year on varsity, heading to University of New England, study dental hygiene, and she's gonna try out for the volleyball team up there. And we wish her the best. You can say hi to Lauren when you're there. Uh, now for my captains. Number 10, Riley Isler. Um, she plays a position that's not very flashy. It's, it's kind of like that offensive lineman that makes all the blocks and then somebody gets to run into the end zone. And, uh, it's not so, you know, people take pictures of people crushing the ball, but Riley keeps the ball up so that we can crush it a couple hits later. And she's done such an awesome job at that. Uh, she's been six years in the program, fourth year on varsity. She's heading to Middlebury College in Vermont to study biology and play track and field. And thank you, Riley. <laughs> Number 21, Abby Roberts. I call it the Swiss Army knife. It's like a little bit of everything. You know, um, she can do what you need done. And we, we love having that on the team and um, you can't see it right now with this mask but the um, thing I like about Abby is like she's always smiling there's always I don't know if Abby's had a bad day okay she's like the volleyball version of Gronk she just looks like she's having a good time all the time so we want to say thank you to Abby Roberts six-year varsity player four sorry six years in the program four years on varsity she is heading to Fordham University at Rose Hill to study environmental science. <laughs> and now we've got a couple of Olivias. Number 23, Olivia Rosewarn, our little lefty setter. And um, we got to see a little bit of it today, how the left hand uh, is really useful as a setter. So six years in our program, four years on varsity, off to Washington, D.C. to study uh, economics. And thank you, Rosie. And Olivia Dean, six years on the varsity, sorry, six years in our program, uh, was brought on the varsity team in eighth grade. So it was five years on varsity. She is heading to Bowdoin College in Maine to play volleyball, and we're really proud of her. And she's going to study math or government. And I'm thinking you probably have to pick one because those two don't work together. Math and government don't seem to ever click. But um, I just want to say real quick on these captains. Um, I've been doing this a long time, and this group of captains uh, may be the best that I've ever had. Um, I so wish that we had a full season uh, because their example and leadership has been second to none in the Frontier program. Um, they have just done such a good example of what to do on the court, what to do off the court, and I wish I had more time with them in this season. But just like anything, it's time for these guys to move on and do some other things outside of Frontier. So uh, we want to thank all of them, and I know the, uh, the players have a couple things. So who's talking first? Okay, Luz. Remember, one minute. Where am I going? Oh, in the middle. Maya, it has been a privilege to get to know you better as a person in and out of volleyball. Even though you haven't technically held a spot on the roster since your JV days, you are just as much a part of the team as anyone standing next to you. I don't know who will ever be able to fill your spot next year. Whether you're doing scoreboard at home games or braiding hair on the bus, you're someone that absolutely anyone can turn to. Thank you. You will forever be someone that I look up to. I think it's fair to speak for everyone that there is no doubt in our minds that Frontier Volleyball is losing an amazing manager in person, but LaSalle is going to gain one. 
I know you're going to kill it in college and everything and everything in between. I will always remember our late night floor conversations that we have shared and I hope to have many more before you leave. Sophia, you are an amazing volleyball player in person on and off the court. While this volleyball season wasn't the same as usual, the energy and dedication you brought to the team didn't change. Every day at practice, we look forward to seeing you and talking to you. You made sure to ask about our days and how we were doing. You always made us feel comfortable to talk to you about anything, even if it wasn't related to volleyball. We really appreciate you driving us to all the away games and all the adventures that came with it. From getting lost and being late to being the first ones there, we wouldn't change it for anything. You never failed to make us laugh with all your stories. We will miss seeing you with you in the car on the way to games and to wherever else we may be going. Although the volleyball season is coming to an end, we know that we will have many more good times with you. It's never a surprise to see you diving for everything and giving it your all in practices and games. I don't think that we made it through an entire game without you on the floor. From rowing to hitting outside, you showed your ability to shine in many different areas. We are truly going to miss seeing you every day at volleyball. We wish you luck wherever life takes you and we know that you will achieve great things. We love you so much. Liv Rose, I'm so incredibly grateful that I've gotten to play volleyball with you these last couple of years. You've made my experience playing on this team so amazing and I've had so much fun. I love being around you, whether it is on the court or off the court. You always stay positive and are so sweet to everyone. When I joined the team last year as a freshman, I was scared and didn't know what to expect, but you made everything so much less intimidating. You made me feel welcomed, whether it was cheering me on in a game or practice, giving me tips on how to improve, or simply just saying hi to me in the hallway. Thank you for being someone that I can look up to or talk to whenever I need it. Laughing with you at practice or on the bus is always one of the best parts of my day. I'm going to miss doing our fun handshakes across the net, or now COVID-modified foot shakes giving each other looks when Sean says, speedball, kill the setters. And most of all, I'm going to miss being around you every day. I hope that I can live up to all of your greatness. I love you so much, and you're going to kill it in college. Liv Dean, you have been one of my biggest role models ever since I made the varsity team my freshman year. I became your teammate. The impact that you have had on me in just two short seasons together is something that I've been struggling to put into words. Both your leadership and level of play that you bring to this team is something that I admire greatly and strive for within myself. You've helped me grow immensely from the first time I walked into practice with you in the 2019 season. It's safe to say that I was super intimidated to be playing with a group of girls who were so much more experienced than myself. I still remember the text you sent me after that first week of practice. You told me that you were really impressed with how I was meshing with the team and the girls that were, have been playing together for a long time. You have no idea how much that meant to me. As that season continued and now this season, our last together as teammates, I keep thinking about how you aren't going to be with us next year. You share so many helpful things with me at practice. I don't know how I'm going to do it next year without you. You're always going to be the upperclassman that I look up to. From making raps about the boys walking into the gym during games, to manifesting perfect passes at tryouts, and TikTok dancing at practice, you bring such a refreshing balance of fun and seriousness to the game of volleyball. Especially when you get just as hyped as I do for your kills as you do for mine. I wish you nothing but the best as you move on to bigger and better things. 
I love you so much and I'm going to miss you the absolute most. I hope you know how much of an impact you've made on me and Frontier Volleyball. My whole experience would not be the same without you. More handstand contests to come. Good job, Jill. Charlotte, me and Lucia both have big sisters on this team, but I think we can all agree that you're like a big sister to all of us. There are a few people that can bring so much joy to such a difficult year, but somehow you pulled it off. Charlotte is not only my role model to me on the volleyball court, but she also happens to be a great example of leadership, kindness, and strength. I have known Char for many years, and I hope to know her for the rest of my life. While I wish I could share every memory I have with Char in this short little speech, some of my favorite things Charlotte does include her excitement over every small thing that we do, her non-judgmental nature, her infectious laugh, and of course, her use of words like shucks and darn after she makes mistakes. Shar has welcomed me into this team as if I had been here all along, and she always makes sure I know she is rooting for me. Charlotte will leave this team a better place, as she will with everything she goes on to do at Denison. I have no doubt in my mind that you will do great things beyond Frontier Volleyball. You are such a light in this world. I miss you already, and I love you more than you know. Um, Abby, I have grown up living 30 seconds away from Abby's house. <laughs> I have known her for as long as I can remember, and I have always looked up to her. We started playing volleyball together very young when there was a clinic at the Sunderland Elementary School, and I am so glad that we have been able to play together up until this point. Abby has no true position on this court because we can rely on her to play anywhere. If we ever need a setter, she will always step in. We need a libero this game, Abby can do it. She is a support system for this team no matter if it's on the court or off. She is our officially unofficial medic and every and time after time, she has put a band-aid on almost every one of us during practice or a game. There's a funny story that Abby and I like to bring up from time to time about when she saved my life. <laughs> I believe I was in seventh grade and her in eighth. I got home from school one day and my house was locked. There was no spare key and it was the middle of winter. I went to my neighbor's house and no one answered, so I thought of myself what to do. I wondered who would be home and I immediately thought of Abby. So in the middle of winter, wearing a sweatshirt and leggings, I walked along Route 47 to Abby's house. I didn't know for sure if she was home, but I didn't even think about that part. I remember being cold and walking up to their front door. Abby answered, and the first thing she offered me was a cup of hot chocolate. I called my parents and everything I did up fine, but I will never forget the time that I, I walked to Abby's house and she made me a cup of hot chocolate. Abby, you are so kind and a beautiful person, both inside and out. If I am ever sad, I know you're the person to crack a stupid joke to make me laugh. You lift everyone's spirits and make practice much more lively. I, along with everyone on this team, has some great memory with you, and playing volleyball will not be the same. You are so smart, and I know you will do great in college. Your new mascot is a ram, but you will forever be a red hawk in my eyes and everyone else in this room. Please never forget your roots and come back. I love you so much. Your hands shaking. Okay. Okay. Morgan. Not to be that person with the lame basic speech, but you are truly such an amazing volleyball player. You have the ability to adapt to any situation without letting your nerves affect you and it leaves me in awe. Even in your moments of frustration, you're able to laugh at yourself and change the entire mood of the team. 
When I first got pulled up for tournament at the end of my freshman season, I was terrified. Being among such an incredible group of people getting at such an important time in the season can feel really alienating. You are such a core part of me learning that not every mistake I make is going to make everyone on the team feel disappointed in me. Every time you hype me up or tell me that I've got the next one shows me how much you care and believe in my capabilities. I know that noob and noob owner are arbitrary titles, but you make me feel so welcome and included every single day. Your charisma and optimism is unparalleled and my volleyball experience will not even be close to the same without you being there. I have so much respect for you as a person and your ability to be an honest and true version of yourself. You are such a beautiful person inside and out and I don't know what I'm going to do without you as a volleyball player and a friend. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> Riley, I want to start off by thanking you for everything you do for this team on and off the court. You have such a special presence and you should know that your uh, actions don't go unnoticed. Ever since I was a seventh grader on the middle school team, I've looked up to you as a role model. I knew someday I wanted to pass and play with you, but your skill is not the only thing I admired about you. I know that when I'm really struggling with something new or even one of the basics, I can always look to you for help without feeling judged at all. Like Sid said before, when I first joined varsity, I was a little unsure of how well I would fit in with the group. Playing with kids older than you, with more experienced than you, can be really intimidating, but you took me in as your noob and taught me what being part of the team really is. Without you, I don't know if I would be the player I am today. Playing on this team next season won't be the same without you hyping me up from across the gym, laughing at my annoying jokes, and giving me special advice. With that being said, I have a feeling that your legacy on this team will be passed down for quite a long time. I love you so much, Rai, and I can't wait to see what's waiting for you on the other side of those gym doors. Lanesha, thank you. Thank you for being the person you are. Thank you for being kind, confident, intelligent, and beautiful. You've had my back from day one, on and off the court. We've moved up through this program together, and because of that, you've helped me become a better volleyball player, and more importantly, a better person. Each of our girls brings something irreplaceable to this team and yours would have to be your resilience. You're one of the strongest people I've met. You have been through immense hardship and strife, and you've come out even stronger, and I will always admire you for that. For as long as I can remember, you've been a person I know I can come to with any problem, no matter the magnitude, and I'm forever grateful. I wish you the very best in your months and years to come, and I will miss and love you to no end. Uh, while we're here, I just want to uh, recognize a couple of seniors in the FCAT crew who have been doing a great job this year, and that's uh, seniors Josh Levine and Megan Self. Thank you, guys. Okay, and with, uh, with that, I think we're going to wrap, and then we'll get some pictures with the family, but we'll let FCAT wrap. And um, the hugs you have seen may not reflect the opinions of the Deerfield Board of Health, so we just want to... We'll put that disclaimer in, but we knew they were happening. So um, that's it, and we're going to get some pictures with the families, and thank you to the FCAT crew and Carl and everyone else. Thank you.